Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2023 as we continue our Road to Glory run with Banbury United FC in the Vanarama National League. Things have been going pretty good since the last episode. Got a couple good games up today as well. Let's see if we can keep this run going. Let's get into the episode. Alright, here we are. As you can see, we've only played three games since the last episode. You guys saw the Chesterfield 3-1 to one win in the FA Trophy. We went, then I went up against Peterborough Sports, beat them 4-1 to one with a goal from Ladapo, a pair of goals from Stevens, and a goal from Coyote. More to come about Ladapo here in just a moment. Uh, we then went up against Chesterfield, drew them with a late goal in the 91st minute from Pollock. Really, really good stuff there. Um, honestly, rescuing that draw was was a win as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, we, we we know we're capable of beating Chesterfield. We did it just two games before. But uh, at the end of the day, getting a draw against them in the league is is probably okay. I'm 100% I'm okay with that, and I still consider that a good result. Uh, we then just got through with the game against Colchester. I think they're ranked seventh in the league when we played them, so really good team overall. Uh, we beat them 3-1 to one with a goal from Charles Cook, a goal from Pollock, and a goal from Babos. Uh, they did pick up a late goal in the 73rd minute, but we were able to hold on and make sure they didn't make a run of it. So, good stuff all around. We are currently in fifth place in the league, as you guys can see. Uh, still, I mean, doing really good, honestly. Uh, we're only four points shy of the 50-point goal from the beginning of the season, although... I think at this point, we just want to do as good as we can, you know, right? We just want to make sure everything looks really, really good for us uh, when we get to the end of the season. So, back to the Ladapo thing. Um, he's no longer with us. He got he got pulled off his uh, low contract because I guess we were playing him out of position. I, I could have sworn I had him set to a certain position. Maybe I misremembered what position that was. It's fine. He was playing well. He was playing really, really well. I would have liked to have kept him, but they pulled him out. So we did pick up another guy, though. We picked up Killian Kawasi here. Uh, he comes in here as a striker as well, on loan. Uh, we've got uh, the agreement to play him as a target forward, so we're going to try and do that as much as possible. Although it's good to know that he can also play as a pressing forward if we need him to. So we're going to move him to target forward uh, and see what he can do for us. Uh, he's not super tall. He's just just shy of six foot. But uh, he does have good jump and reach and good heading. So hopefully playing as a target forward will give us a little bit of a, I don't know, mixture of, of things in that front three. Excuse me. The yawns are coming, obviously. So this is going to be a yawn episode. So apologies for that. Um, overall, though, one other thing that we're trying to do is we are trying to move off um matthews matthews has just played really really poorly if we come over here and look at the average rating uh he is down here right here uh the only person worse than him was jacob anderson i just let him sub in for a game just just uh uh he's a backup like he's a he's a youngster so don't don't read anything to his but athlete matthews here just a 6.5 is just not not acceptable on any level um so we're trying to move him on see if we can get somebody in to come in for him or get you know trade him out and get a better person in the in overall. We shall see. I'll keep you guys updated. But for right now, excuse me. I'm sorry. I don't know why the yards are coming today. <laughs> it's just one of those episodes. Um, but for right now, we have not been able to get anybody to come in for. We got one offer coming for him. He turned down their contract. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to figure something out there. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get at the team today. Here is the team we're bringing today. We've got Hall and Goal, of course. Jacob on the left. Charles Cook on the right. Wakeley and Fowler in the middle. Pinchard, Riley, and Jeffries across the midfield. With Kwasi coming in as that target forward on the left-hand side. He does. He is left-footed, so we're going to play him over there. Pollock's going to move over to the right-hand side as an advanced forward. And a Coyote as our pressing forward in the middle. Coyote just has had an atrocious season so far. He also needs to go, but first things first. We're going to try and get rid of Matthews first, and then we'll worry about Coyote later. Uh, yeah, I know Kowski has not played very much, so or has not played for us, so his sharpness is not all there, but that's okay. All right, guys, come on. We can beat Wrexham. I know we can. We are in our red kits, Wrexham in their blues. It's a home game for us, so this is a, this is a good one for us to, to try and get control of. But we've seen games like this go the wrong direction before. It 
It's a great way to start a game. Great way to start a game. All right, well, Riley's gonna have to move over there. Why did you not move over there? Riley's gonna move over there and we're gonna bring in, I guess, Cooper into that midfield role. Uh, that's not good. All right, first highlight of the game here for Wrexham. It's a miss, thankfully. All right, well, that was a boring first half. Oh, uh, let's see here. Have we really been the better team? I don't know if that's true or not. Another highlight for Wrexham here. Hall punching that one out. Not far enough. Oh, though we got lucky on that one. And then it goes out of bounds. Free kick for Wrexham. Good, good save by Hall. Going to be a corner kick for Wrexham. All the highlights going Wrexham's way. I don't think we have been the better team, to be perfectly honest. Not sure why my assistant coach told me to tell them that, but they did respond to it, so maybe they thought we'd been better team as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a sub here. I mean, the only good striker right now is Kawasi. No, actually, we're not going to do sub, but we already done one. Wait till the 60 minute mark to do the next one. Come on, guys. We even had a shot at all. Man, we give up so many penalties. Well, then. Oh, goodness. All right, well, um, I mean, Cody obviously playing atrociously bad, so Stevens comes into that spot. At least we've got a couple shots off, finally. Oh, and of course, Charles Cook is injured, so Hickman comes into that spot. And that is it. All right, we're going to demand more. We're also going to get a bit stuck in here, see if we can get something here, get something something back. Throwing coming from Hickman into Pollock. Pollock just pings it off the guy in front of him, which was not good. There's Wakely. Ah, come on, guys. Cooper picking that one up, up to Pinchard. Pinchard over to Pollock. Pollock down to Steven. Steven's not in a good place anyway. He was out of sides anyway, so it would not have mattered. Not our day. Not our day at all. We've seen this before. Games like this that we probably should do better in. We just don't show up for some reason. Honestly, just about the entire team has played pretty poorly in this one. Hopefully they at least show up in the next game. I'd like to stay in the FA Trophy if at all possible. Set of curiosity, is Wrexham? Mm, why are we not seeing them? Are they actually listed as being owned by, or who I should say, who is their owners being listed as here? Uh, General, maybe? No. Where do they list the owners? Finances. That would be profile, but I'm not seeing it. I'm blind, aren't I? <laughs> where, where are the owners? Is it under here somewhere? Finances, info. 
It just doesn't say, does it? Weird. I could have sworn I had it somewhere here. I'm probably it's probably right in front of my face in one of these things, and I'm just blind as a bat. Sounds about right. Eh, oh well. Uh because obviously this is the one that uh Ryan Reynolds owns now. I'm not seeing uh, it's it's here somewhere and you guys are going to be yelling at me like hey, it's right there and I'm just not seeing it oh well but uh like I said it should be should be getting up I think this is the one that's owned by Ryan Reynolds right right Rexham? yeah it is of course um him and uh, who's the other guy I forget the other guy's name to be perfectly honest but uh it's fine but yeah there you go good for them all right, um, we are going to be back for game number two against uh, Maidstone. Hopefully this is a much better game. All right, we are back, and a couple changes have made. Not, not a whole lot, but uh, we did get Matthews out on loan. So at least we got hit most of his wages off the budget. Uh, we got 90% of his wages off, so that, that was good. It was a good start. Maybe he'll go and develop and be better for next season. Maybe we can keep him. I don't know. Um, so that was good. I, I, we then went out and picked up this guy, Fremantle. <laughs> um, maybe a bit of a stretch. I mean, he does already look like a better pressing forward than uh, than uh, Coyote. Uh, Coyote. Sorry, that's what I'm trying to say. Um and so we're hoping that he'll come in here and do something good for us. I mean, his current transfer value says 55 to 110K. That That's not sure how realistic that is. He's got a lot of potential, a ton of potential. Uh, but, uh, and he's played mostly okay for Kidderminster down on the Van Ramben North. Uh, he hasn't really played this last season so far, but the two seasons before that, close to a 7.0, that's not bad. Um, and we actually got him for uh, basically 23,000 bucks. Uh, could go up to 28.5, depending on how things work out, depending on how much he plays, things like that. But 23000 bucks, which is a lot of money. We spent a lot of money on this guy. Um, but if he turns out to be really, really good, then we're going to be very happy that we spent the money. Uh, if not, honestly, I think he probably still has that value. Maybe we can sell him on. We shall see. But he's already visibly an upgrade over a Coyote. So hopefully he plays that way as well. Uh, but here's the team we're bringing today. Uh, Hall and Go, Bailey on the left, Hickman on the right, Wakely and Fowler in the middle, Pinchard, Riley, Jeffries across the midfield, Kawasi, Fremantle, Fre and Pollock. So two new strikers alongside Pollock up front. Both Jacob and Charles Cook are injured right now, out for several weeks, it looks like. So it's going to be a little bit interesting for a few few cycles here, but uh, we should be okay. The only other change I would say is that I am going to go ahead and try and play Matt Jeffries as a playmaker for now. That's one of his best roles. We'll see if him playing as a better role. I mean, he's not been playing poorly by any stretch, but we'll see if we play him as more of a playmaker. Um, we'll see. We'll see if that changes things up enough to kind of give him a little bit of a leg up. Buying some new guys. I mean, it's a little scary, you know, to be fair, but it's a, it's probably the type of game that we want to play new guys in because it's a team, you know, that we should be beating. Uh, so give them a chance to really prove themselves, hopefully. Home game against Maidstone here. Come on, guys. Show me some amazing stuff here. Or show me a whole lot of nothing. Okay, there we go. Here's a throw in from Hickman. Uh, not a good throw in, unfortunately. Are we going to be able to get control back? We are not, it looks like. And here comes Maidstone on the attack. All Tosin here. Why do we keep giving up penalties? Where's the stop giving up penalties command in the instructions? Don't think it exists. Oh, is that DDG? Of course it is. <laughs> of course it's DDG. I didn't recognize him. Ah, of course we've got DDG going against us. Right, that's uh, our boy from uh, Buxton. <laughs> I remember him. He played well for us. And then he got grumpy, and so we sent him on his way. And now he's going to make us pay for it. Uh, there's Bailey with the throw in into Pinchard. Pinchard to Kwasi. Kwasi 
just giving it ball up. Not sure what he's doing. There comes DDG again, trying to make us pay for letting him go all those years ago now. We just didn't show up today. Well, Fremantle has not played well today. I mean, it's his first game out. I'm not going to judge him too, too much just yet. Really would love to see somebody like him come in and make a, a really quick spark right away, but not going to happen, it looks like. Um, I guess we're going to bring him out and bring Stevens on. Stevens actually has been playing pretty decently as a pressing forward, to be fair. The few times that we have brought him on into that position. I don't even know who to bring out. I think we're going to hold off a little bit longer here, but I am going to go ahead and change the instructions. We're going to go ahead and get stuck in. Let's, let's see if we can shake some things up a little bit here. Stevens with the ball. Jeffrey is to Quasi. Quasi to Pinchard. Pinchard going to try and do it on himself. No, he's oh, Pollock. You got to get that one, buddy. Oh, you were in a position. If you just extended just a little bit, you should have been able to push that one in. Bring McAvoy onto the right-hand side. I mean, Jeffries is playing well, but he's pretty tired. Go ahead and bring Cooper in here, and we'll just see if that's going to be enough of a spark. Not going to be today, is it? We're just going to get knocked out of the trophy right away. Oh, man. There's really not much to say there. Hall really let us down on that one. Well, there's the trophy. That's that's behind us, unfortunately. It's down to just the uh, the league now. Let's see if we can at least. I mean, if we can stay mid table in the league, I think we're still consider this a, a, a successful season. But uh, I guess we were competitive. So there, we passed that. Yeah, yes. Um, I mean, it's not, it's unfortunate, but we're doing a really good job in the league right now. If we can keep that up then I'll be pretty happy. Overall, we are at 46 points. Still that four points shy of where I want to be. Uh, and then I'll be able to breathe a sigh of relief because anything after that will be kind of icing on the cake. All right, when we come back, it'll be somewhere down here, probably dorking and maybe Oldham, Oldham dorking. So pretty quick turnaround here, uh, but we will see. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members Thank you so much for supporting the channel.